Let's start a band! Oh, egg guitar. <laughs> Who's good at egg guitar? Egg guitar. Anyone in South Africa? No one? Okay, fine. Let's do this. Movies. Okay, so there are movies at the cinema, <laughs> which is really exciting, and that's another reason that you're here. Uh, that's exciting, I guess. I like, I like going to the movies. I do, man. But you've got to be careful when you go to the movies. Yes, you but do. But it's really fun to go. But watch something really tense so you don't breathe. So the, the couple of movies that we've got aren't really that tense, but mm. one is. Mm -mm. First one is a film called Dinner with Friends. Very creative name, right? You've never heard of anything like that before. Um, so comedy. I, I like, you know, people have all these staples for Christmas, like, yeah, I need Die Hard, I need this, like, throwaway action, I need this corny thing or whatever. It, there's, there's probably, like, a subgenre of just, like, forgettable comedy <laughs> that everyone's like, yeah, that's something that, like, I don't know, when I'm too, like, fat after lunch to reach for the remote, I have to watch the movie. Giggle. Maybe. Look, shame. Ach, my, my sense of humor is different to other people. But dinner with friends, uh, Christmas hasn't gotten crazier for like the 20th year in a row. It's, you know, getting together with your crazy family type story. Uh, one girl is like, the basket case, who can't get her life in order? And like the ex-boyfriend is brought to the party for reasons why. Why would... Oh, sorry, by the way, uh, let me just first get into the story. Actually, I just said it all. Uh, it, uh, it's going to be like played out in South Africa as a Christmas movie. There you see, someone's got a turkey. In America, it was called Friendsgiving very intelligently because it was a Thanksgiving movie, but obviously I have to change it because South Africans don't know what that means. So maybe it is just for tis the season, irrespective of what you're celebrating. Uh, you were mentioning some names that look similar to do it while we weren't recording, such as... Wanda Sykes? Uh, Wanda Sykes is great, yes. But I'll uh, say the other movies that it reminds you of, The Hangover, for example. Oh, yes. Oh, yeah, yeah. So The Hangover, uh, Old School... If you like that, it's got... It hits all the notes. Uh, I'm, I'm sure that it will, it will hit the spot for... Uh, I suppose everyone needs some cheering up during this time, right? Uh, dinner with friends. So if you're Might into a light-hearted film that's just got some light-hearted comedy, And, and topless dude, uh, eternally for some reason. Um, so, yeah. Dinner with Friends might be for you. Releasing in South Africa today on Big Screen. The next movie is kind of close to my heart yes. because uh, I'm obviously really big into video games and I, I love a little bit of video games. Mm -hmm. um, Monster Hunter, ah. a film based on a video game filmed in South Africa, yes. is out. Like the Cedarburg in Cape Town. Wow. Okay, so, so you, like, let me no, know. No, you what? tell us first. Uh, well, so it's one of these video game adaptations, and shame some of these haven't had a good history. No. What, what is the, the background behind Monster Hunter? What's the gist? What's the, like... Okay, so for those of you who don't know what Monster Hunter is about, it's literally, um, a, it's like a role-playing game mm -hmm. where you have to hunt the greatest uh, beasts of all time, mm -hmm. these monsters, and then use their, uh, their resources resources to get stronger and stronger and stronger and take down bigger and bigger monsters. And there's no point, it's just swashbuckling fun. Yeah, it's about hanging out with your friends and doing it together as a group and just it's making just like sure you've got cool stats. Beast Olympics, basically. So, I, I know a lot of people that have worked on this film, ah. which is really cool, and uh, obviously in the, mostly are in the video game circles, so Let's I'm excited these, to see it. Some of these important names, of course. Mila Jovovich. I love this lady. I was saying to Zoe the other day about like Liam Neeson, for example, that even if you put him in like gas, He's still going to bring his A game. Uh, Mila Jovovich is the same. You put her in, say, uh, Joan of Arc, and she's incredible. You put her in Zoolander, uh, even as a small, like, silly role, and she's still going to do her Kmart jacket accent thing really, really hilariously. Mila Jovovich brings it any time you put her in absolutely everything, and she's here with her director husband, Paul W.S. Anderson, who is second to her, I suppose, as far as fame goes. Tony Jaa is also really an important person. Tony Jaa uh, from Ong Bak. I don't know if you saw that Muay Thai movie. Tony Jaa is like one of the strongest. He's one of those guys who would make us, like our group of friends, lose our minds every time he throws a knee into someone's Would you do push-ups? Yeah, okay, yeah. Yeah, because you. we're idiots. We're, we're not like the dinner of friends people at all. Grant and I have been friends since high school. And, we'll and, watch and, one of these movies on a Sunday and just do push-ups. And, 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 and just show, it's Tom, Deck. Why are we, we still single? And probably, yes. Yeah, okay. Oh. Probably Monster Hunter is perfectly up our alley for this. So, Tony Jaa looks like my favorite aspect of this entirely. He's, 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 <laughs> he's, you're gonna be excited to he, see it. He, like. he's, he's, he's clearly like got the formula down. If you're a strong man and you go do movies in America, just don't talk English. No one, like Arnold Schwarzenegger doesn't know how to talk English. Jackie Chan doesn't know how to talk English and we love them. And Tony Jaa is doing that too. Just use your muscles for thinking. Emote with your arms. Uh, and Monster Hunter is clearly just brainless fun uh, for that reason. A video game movie, just get this right. Be big. 
Be loud, be tactile. Hopefully this does the trick. And tell a good story. Uh, that's actually one of the things that I want to see. Just tell a good story. Make it, make it cool. And when I love what I love doing about watching a, a, a movie that's filmed in South Africa is trying to see if I can spot any locations. Oh yes. So it's a good game to play. <laughs> Just go like, see if you can see like, oh, that's Table Mountain in the background. <laughs> Yeah, Tony Ja! Sorry, he gets to shout his own surname <laughs> in, 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 in like excitement. Ja! Which is precisely my sentiment about anything where Mila Jovovich is putting a sword into a monster. That's releasing today. Big screen.